What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the brand new legend character that is going to be arriving on One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan very very soon for the brand new treasure map coming to their side of the game and it does introduce the new legend Zephyr so we all thought that this was definitely going to be a thing especially after we saw uh, we saw legend Shiki and we also saw legend Gil Tesoro funnily enough all three of these movie legends being Shiki, Tesoro and Zephyr are all quick type so I don't know what that pertains to or like why that's the case but all of these legends, the movie legends, are going to be quick characters. Also in this video, we will be overviewing the two other characters that will be arriving in this Sugo Fest, which also directly helps support Zephyr and his class that he'll be boosting. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into the video. So the first character that we are going to be talking about is we're going to get straight into it and talk about Legend Zephyr, Legend Z. So this character is a quick shooter fighter type character at a max level at level 99 with maximum limit break 4,449 HP, 1,814 attack, and 183 recovery. He has really powerful stats. Nearly 5,000 HP when you go ahead and max out his cotton candies, and over 2,000 attack with Cotton Candies and Limit Break. He is a phenomenal unit in terms of statistics. Also, he has 55 cost, 5 socket spots, and you can see on the artwork that he actually has 3 different potential abilities. The first one is Psy Damage Reduction. Uh, I think it's Psy, it might be Dex Damage Reduction, I can't actually see it from here. Uh, you also get Enrage, or, or the Provoked Attack Boost, and also Barrier Penetration. Barrier Penetration obviously being a very, very important one for the Shooter class. Now, his Captain Effect is pretty one-dimensional, uh, you would think, uh, when just looking at it. It's very, very similar to other characters we have. So we'll go ahead and state that if your crew has six shooter characters, he boosts their attack by 3.9 times when they have a matching orb. Then it states if they don't have a matching orb, you get 3.25 times attack. And he also reduces incoming damage by 10%. So, a lot of people would be a little bit upset the fact that he doesn't boost HP, but it does make up for that a little bit with the fact that he does have a 10% damage reduction just passively all the time, which is great. And his attack boost is the exact same, like word for word, except for the fact that it has to be for shooter characters compared to version 2 Doflamingo. Version 2 Doflamingo is the same, you need to have exactly 6 shooters on your team, and he's a 3.9 attack boost when you have matching orbs, and if you don't, it's a 3.25 attack boost to his class. So, this is a very, very similar unit to Legend Doflamingo in terms of captain effect, except when comparing to V2 Doflamingo, this character in particular does not give you that many matching orbs. Doflamingo, if you guys remember, he makes, I think it's Dex and Quick, beneficial as a captain, where we have Zephyr here who does not provide that. As I said though, he does give you that damage reduction, which is actually quite useful uh, in, in a lot of different circumstances. But it's interesting that they bring out another shooter legend uh, right after they released Capone on One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan. So this is like a direct support unit for Capone. So if you don't get Capone, unfortunately, you can still go ahead and use Zephyr, who is an amazing shooter captain. And, you know, you can partner this guy up really, really well with a friend Capone, and it works really well. You can use double Zephyr, you can use double Capone, all the hybrids. Zephyr is a really good unit. However, in my personal opinion, in terms of captain effect, I still personally believe that Capone is a much better captain. He gives you lots of health, he gives you the more matching orbs, and he gives you a higher constant attack boost. This character is very reliant on getting matching orbs. Even though getting matching orbs isn't really going to be that much of a problem, just the fact that Capone is an unconditional 3.75 all the time, and the amount of health and more matching orbs that you get just with Capone as a captain. As I did state, you can run a hybrid team with this guy and Capone, but hybrid teams are a little bit more tricky to make because you have to rely on friend captains popping up and stuff like that. Either way, you can't take away the fact that this is a very powerful captain effect and fits very, very well within the current meta of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Moving on now, let's discuss his special ability. So his special ability, uh, at this current time, I'm not too sure what his initial or max cooldown is. However, when you max limit break him, it will go down to a 12 turn cooldown, which is pretty low considering what he does. So first of all, he cuts one enemy's HP by 30%. Unfortunately, this is only a single target attack and it doesn't even go through barriers. So I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I mean, still a 30% health cut is very powerful, but the fact that it doesn't bypass barriers like lots of other health cuts or damage 
damaging specials do these days, that's a little lackluster in my opinion. Still, when you are able to get that 30% health cut off, it's very, very useful, allowing you to chip away a lot of HP from a lot of HP enemies. And the fact that this actually uh, goes well with one of the other units in this batch, we'll, which we'll discuss in a little bit. But on top of the health cut, he will also state that for two turns, he adds 50 times his attack as additional non-type damage to your crew. And also, he changes all slots on shooter characters, including block orbs, into matching orbs. So if we do some quick calculation here, when you actually activate the special and you get the 50 times his attack as additional typeless damage, that adds up to 100,700 additional damage per single tap that you do. Now if you actually have Sailor abilities that boost Shooter character's attack, this also adds to this as well. So currently at this current time, without any you know additional boost from crewmate abilities, he gives you an additional 100,000 damage per tap with this bonus special ability, which is insane. So if you multiply by that 6, that means that he gives you an additional 600,000 damage per turn while you have this active, and then obviously over the two turns, that adds up to 1.2 million damage over the two turns of the additional Titleist bonus damage. So just straight away, this is very, very good. I mean, you can't deny it. It's really good because shooters, like when you really look at shooters, what they kind of need right now, uh, in terms of boosting, they kind of have already, they've got the they've got the type boost now in Capone. They've got some pretty decent orb boosters in Treasure Map Boa, as well as Limited Rogue Crew Doflamingo. Uh, you know, they've got a couple of chain lockers here or there, but they didn't really have uh, a good unit that, give, that gave them additional typeless bonus damage, where this Zephyr now provides that at a very, very high standard, and it's a two-turn boost as well, making him a lot better than... Uh, let's say, uh, Legend Inu Arashi, who provides the same sort of thing for the Cerebral class. And also the fact that he makes all orbs on shooters, including block, into matching, basically says goodbye to Legend Kizaru. You, like, even though Legend Kizaru, even to this day, wasn't really used all that often, uh, this character will just straight away power creep him in every way possible, for the shooter class, that is. For slashes, I guess he could still find some use in those teams if you ever need to run that character. But uh, the fact that he gives you a guaranteed board of matching, no matter what orbs you get, is fantastic for the shooter squad even though in particular they already had some pretty decent ways to get orbs but now they've got like a guaranteed legend that will enable them to get that as well as add a lot of damage to their teams now the other two characters that I want to quickly discuss, the first one being Ayn, who is an int shooter slasher character. Uh, I'm not really going to go through her stats in a captain ability because it's all right there for you guys to see, but her special ability is actually quite interesting. So it maxes at a 10 turn cooldown. Again, I don't really know what the initial or the max cooldown is, but after limit break, she goes down to a 10 turn cooldown, which is extremely low for what she actually does. And you can see that she actually removes two turns of defense up and damage reduction on the enemy, and you also remove two turns of bind and despair on your own crew. Also, when your crew has a percent damage cut, uh, kind of like, you know, uh, Raid Bato. Raid Bato gives you the ability to tank hits from the enemies, reducing incoming damage from the enemies. When you ha have that type of buff on your crew, she will heal 20% of your max HP. If you do not have that though, she'll give you a 70% damage reduction for one turn. Now, if you actually look at her potential abilities, she has Barry Penetration, really good, and also Double Special. This means that with her special ability, you can actually get four turns of removal of defense up damage reduction, which is the Rainbow Shield, and also Bind and Despair. So overall, a really good utility support character for the shooter teams, even though particularly they didn't really need that, that much healing, unless if you're running a, a Capone team in particular. Uh, and for damage reduction, damage reduction isn't actually that bad, but again, if you are running Capone, you have the Big Father kind of like as your damage reduction type of unit anyways, but uh, a really good support unit with that amount of utility, it's pretty insane. And the last unit of this brand new Sugo Fest batch is going to be Bins from the Neo Marines, who is a Psy Shooter Free Spirit character. And you can see his stats right there, his stats are not too bad. And his captain effect, pretty standard. But his special ability, again, is a really great support character for shooters once again. So he goes down to a 10 turn cooldown, which is pretty insane for the fact that he does 40 times his attack in non-type damage to all enemies. That is a pretty decent chunk of AoE damage that he provides just by himself, which is fantastic. On top of that, he also delays all enemies for one turn, which uh, could be quite useful here or there. But the good thing about this character states that if the enemy with the highest HP on the enemy side of the field has 80% or lower HP, 
then he will boost Shooter Orbs by 1.75 times for 3 turns. And this is quite nice because this partners extremely well with Legend Zephyr. As Legend Zephyr, as we just said before, has a 30% health cut. So you can target the highest HP enemy, health cut them, then you can activate your bins, which also does a little bit of damage to the enemy, as well as delaying them, as well as giving you that 3 turn orb boost. So this synergizes extremely well with Zephyr, whereas with Ayn, I would say synergizes a little bit better with Capone in my personal opinion. Either way, these two characters partner really well with Zephyr. They give them they give shooter characters again even more support. Even after they just, like literally just had the Capone Sugar Fest come out, you know, not even a week or two ago. You know, it's crazy how quick that they actually got an additional legend for the same class. I still don't really know how I feel about that. Either way, this has definitely been a batch of characters that a lot of people have been looking forward to, you know, ever since the release of Guild Tesoro Legend on, 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 J on Japan. So I'm really excited to see how people are going to be using Zephyr and Capone together and these new characters. I love the fact that shooters are finally getting support that they deserve considering how bad they've been for the longest time. And with this new support, I do believe that shooters are probably one of the better classes in the game because with all the characters that they have now, there aren't too many pieces of content that shooters cannot get around. Like the fact that Capone just has the innate ability to tank literally anything is insane and Zephyr only helps with that a little bit more as well as Ayn and Bins. But anyways guys, that's been it for me. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and if you guys want to stay up to date with all of the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.